You're living in some strange times, my friend. I'm sure whoever you are watching this video are already aware of how strange things have gotten. I remember back in April, March, I was saying to myself, feels like the end. Something's not right. And here I am. A month later, in July, saying the same thing. Only now, the feeling is much more intense. It's much stronger. I feel the power. The power in the air. Just the tension between the battle of good and evil. If you meditate, I'm sure you know that feeling that I'm speaking of. If you don't meditate, well, I'm not saying you can't feel energy. Maybe you're just not aware of it. But when you meditate and stop your thoughts and ask God for guidance and wisdom, He gives you guidance and He gives you wisdom. There's no question about that. Sometimes it's a little hard just to walk down the street. Because once you have that wisdom, you realize if you're walking down the sidewalk, riding your bike, anything, you're on the battlefield. At least in the United States of America, as of this day, as of this year, and maybe a few years before, I wasn't really paying attention to the spiritual state of our nation before two years ago. But I know within those last two years, spiritually, this nation has gone down the drain. And things here have gotten very sick. Disgusted, he asked me. Not physically. Spiritually. This country has become like a cesspool. And things like this over here, a television. See how the screen is black? That's exactly how it's today. Don't ever turn on your TV. Don't ever, ever, ever watch television. That is one of the worst things that you could ever do for your own mind. When you stare at the television by the frame rate, the rate at which the picture is coming at you, you don't see it. But the picture is flickering 50 to 60 times in one second. And on that TV back there, that's an old analog TV. It's not that old, but it's analog, which means it's more powerful. It draws you in deeper. Just saying. What they say on the news, it's all lies all to please the public. You see them all with their fancy ties and their fancy suits and their, their big grins. Don't get sucked into it. Don't get sucked into it. Don't believe it. Don't read the newspapers. Obviously, don't believe a word the government tells you. Because I firmly believe that there is Satanism in our government. These people that are passing all these laws and passing all these bills that nobody's finding out about, there's bills being passed saying that 
every United States citizen has to have an RFID microchip in order to buy or sell. I don't know which exact bill it is, but I remember reading it myself. And it clearly states that in the Bible. That in the end times, that you won't be able to buy or sell if you don't accept the mark of the beast. And you look at society, they're so sucked in the money. They buy, 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 buy this, buy that, buy that. Oh, let's go to McDonald's, let's go to Burger King. All they want to do is spend money. They don't know how to live without it. It says in the Bible, those that buy, act as though you bought not. You don't need to buy anything. God will give it to you for free. Yeah, it's nice to have 10, 20 bucks in your pocket. Don't get me wrong. But you don't need it. You can live without it. Live by faith. And all you got to do is ask God to guide you every day before you leave the house. If you live outside, I myself don't really live in a house. I live everywhere. I stay outside sometimes. Sometimes I stay over my buddy's house. You know, wherever, wherever you are. Just ask God for guidance before you leave, before you go about your mission. During the day, you're on a mission. You're at a battle, good versus evil. That battle comes in your mind, comes in the physical realm, and it comes through people as well. I'm going to give you an example. I'm not going to mention any names, but somebody yesterday really tried to provoke me. So I said, God bless you. Because I don't want to trouble nobody. I mean, mentally, my mental state anymore, what I've become aware of, arguing with people and fighting with people is just pure foolishness. I don't even get involved in it. I said, God bless you. And I walked the other way. He comes out of his house and hands me a newspaper saying, searching for the real Jesus. He's like, uh-huh, here you go, freak. And I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't know what to say. Because I know the spiritual state of our nation. I know the spiritual state of this world. And Jesus warned me about people like that, trying to test my faith. Part of me wanted to sock him in the mouth, but then the other part of me wanted to just burn it. A newspaper. A piece of paper made by the government saying that Jesus isn't real. I know for a fact that that was spiritual. There's no doubt about it. I say, God bless you. And here he comes out with a newspaper saying Jesus ain't real. Just an example. Every minute of every day, you're in a battle, good versus evil. And how you react to your thoughts, whether you let your thoughts go down the road, somebody pisses you off. If you sit for 20 minutes imagining how you're going to kill them, that's evil. You can't let your mind do that. It's tempting sometimes. Somebody throws an egg at you, you want to kick their ass. I do this, and I feel the same way. But there comes a time that you got to forgive. Okay? I myself, I run into a lot of nice people. I can't say I don't. I run into a lot of good people out on the street who have nothing, who have nowhere to go, who don't have a television, which they're better off without it, and they're so much happier. They have nothing, but yet they're happier than these people who are driving their fancy plastic BMWs. And it's just an example how they're outside, yet they're happy. They're living in simplicity. They're relying on Jesus. Anger. Anger itself is a sin. When you get angry, you're filling your mind with negative energy. I know a lot of times it comes without control. When someone throws a bucket of piss in your face like they did to me the other day, don't get me wrong, you want to kill them. But there comes a time when you have to forgive that person. In two days now, with myself, I forgive that person. I'm not going to go chasing after them. I know what kind of car they drive. I'm not going to go and smash their windows. I'm not going to do anything. That's yesterday, in the past. 
As long as he doesn't do it again, everything will be fine. Because I trust in God. That was part of, of yesterday's mission. Even though it was farther than yesterday, a couple days ago, that was a test of my faith. That was a test of my faith right there. The devil threw piss in my face because he doesn't like me. He doesn't like how I'm with Jesus. So that's what he did. It's a test of your faith. Somebody steals something from you. It's a test of your faith. However you handle that situation, whatever kind of energy you spread, with versus evil, always try and just spread peace. Don't let anything get to you. Don't let anything change your mood. Don't let the devil get the best of you. I know this is a lot easier said than done. Don't get me wrong. You have no idea how my life is. I'm not going to tell you how my life is because it's none of nobody's business. All right? I run into my fair share of good people, and I run into my fair share of a-holes who really just want to start trouble. But once again, it's a test of your faith. However you handle it. And in the end, it can't do anything to you but make you stronger. Because the strong are those who trust in Jesus. 